So you want to create an ePortfolio on PebblePad. PebblePad is a very user-friendly platform on which you can build ePortfolios that will be shareable and useful and accessible all the way until for the rest of your life. Let's log into PebblePad and get started. I suppose there's a little introductory video that's going to arise. It may give you some information, but we're going to go ahead and skip that if you want. So just to go ahead and jump right in and to create an ePortfolio, there are a couple of ways you can do that. You can click in this area where it says Get Creative. You can click to Get Creative, or you can go into this burger and find uh, Get Creative Portfolios and Pages. PebblePad is very user-friendly and sometimes very intuitive. So I'll try to walk you through that intuition as we go on, although I recognize the paradox of what I just said. Click that and then choose Create Portfolio. And one thing you'll notice, pages and portfolios, pages are part of portfolios. I will talk about that in a second. Many things are kind of nested, but in a very common sense way in PebblePad. Create a portfolio. One thing you'll notice is that this resembles, if you've ever built a web page using WordPress, and even if you haven't, this actually does resemble some of the process for doing so. One of the things I really like about PebblePad is how it, it helps you cultivate some of your skills in making very clear, uh, user-friendly content on the web. So we can go ahead and close this for now. These are some settings. Notice it's going to give you an option for a new page. So you can do whatever you want to this page, and you'll notice it's it's kind of had this has this tab set up. You can add a tab here. But let's go ahead and see what we could do with this new page. You can add content. There's lots of different kinds of content you can add. Maybe obvious what you can put on there, and really anything. You can embed uh, pretty much anything that's available on the web. You can add a video, of course, audio, image, and so forth. All right. Uh, maybe we won't uh, bother with that quite yet because that's kind of the easy part. One thing you may want to do, oh yeah, you can name your page. Let's uh, go ahead and hit this settings button to name the page. Here we go, and hit settings, and then uh, my new page. Okay, confirm. Okay, now what you could do is, uh, of course, you can customize the page. You can replace this banner image here uh, however you want. You can change this new title here and so forth, right? Um, and this will appear any, anytime somebody clicks on my new page. Um, after I show you the next step, then we'll have a look at what this all looks like from the perspective of somebody who's visiting your portfolio. All right, now a page is, uh, it's easy to, uh, it, it, a page is oftentimes understood as sort of like a section of a portfolio. So what you could do is you can change this into a portfolio. And that way, it will enable you to have groups of pages inside this portfolio. So again, going back to the metaphor or the analogy with websites, this is kind of like a drop-down menu that will enable people to navigate your portfolio. So, and it's going to appear like that on the other side. Now, I'm going to go ahead and name the portfolio. New portfolio, let's call it. Um, this is a portfolio. All right, confirm. And there we go. Notice this portfolio contains this page. Now, of course, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add another page. Um, add another page here. New page, right? Now, I'm going to change the, this. Is, I'm going to this is second page. Let's do that. Okay. Now, with the second page, same rule as the first. Here's my second page, and I can add content to it. Let's say, I don't know, let's add some text, right? So, uh, hello, you have found the second page. Okay, all right, and so on and so forth. Okay, there we go, new page, second page. All right, now, at this point, um, you'll notice there's one more button that I haven't yet used, and I think I'm gonna hold off on adding an existing asset. I just want you to become comfortable with the idea of having a portfolio and then having pages within that portfolio. A portfolio contains pages. So now let's go to preview and let's see what it's going to look like from the user's perspective. Oh, I have to add a title for my portfolio. This is a happy portfolio. Confirm. Okay, there we go. Now this is what it's going to look like. Notice 
Um, it's got this this tab here, and look at look how much it resembles an actual web page. So I can here's the portfolio. Here's my new page. This is the first one I created. Remember, I edited a new, a new title. Here's my second page. Hello, you have found the second page. Notice it's exactly what I put up on, put up there. Okay, so this is what the portfolio looks like so far. Now to get back to the editor to return to the the area where you can change things, go back, to, click on Edit This Asset. Okay, so once again, our portfolio is a group of pages. Right um, now, an asset is something that is uh, a it's kind of like a project that has a specific kind of framework. In other words, it's a it's a it's an artifact that follows some kind of template, some sort of, of order. Sometimes it will be you that have created that that order or that template or that design, and sometimes it will be a faculty member or somebody else who might have created it for you. So I'm going to go ahead and add an existing asset to this portfolio, and these are assets that I've already created. Don't worry about the letters here yet. Another way in which PebblePad is very intuitive is it kind of has these little almost like periodic table looking um, uh, brief little symbols that refer to different kinds of things that you can do with PebblePad or different kinds of assets that you can add uh, to any page. So I'm going to go ahead and add, um, I don't know, it's, uh, let's do uh, this one. Uh, it's a, uh, some kind of uh, content area. Uh, there was an attempt to make a collection. Oh, C for a collection. So I've added that. Now, once again, don't worry too much about assets just yet. I just want to show you that you can add them to a portfolio, right? Okay, now, once again, I'm going to go to preview so you can see what it looks like so far. Notice here's my portfolio, and voila, here's my asset that I just added, okay? Now, notice there was an attempt. See, this is this is something I actually put together before. This is a collection of assets, uh, bioethics projects, Zen Mayhem, um, uh, R, I'm trying to remember what R stands for. I can't quite remember. Uh, maybe R is, oh, it's like a reflection reflection paper uh, that, that can be designed. Uh, notice, oh yeah, you can edit the asset right inside uh, of the editor, right? You can change things and so forth. Okay, now back to portfolio, and let's go back to editing uh, this whole thing. Okay, so that's, in a sense, that's kind of it. One of the things I want to show you, that's, that's it, as in, that's the basic idea for creating and adding content to a portfolio. But notice, there are lots of directions to go. Well, actually, well, you could say two directions to go in a sense. You can go vertically in the sense that you can add more contents to this portfolio here. Think of a portfolio kind of like as a tab, like on a website, that you can access through a menu. Um, but also, so you can go vertically as in adding more things to this section, but you can also go uh, horizontally. You can add new pages, right? And notice you can you can add a page and turn it into another portfolio, right? You can convert it to another portfolio, or you can just keep it on its own as a new page, right? There's a lot you can do with PebblePad. And now once again, uh, let's see, I'm going to name this page, uh, second tab, right? Okay, confirm in a sense. Now, once again, let's go to preview. And look, here it is, right, second tab. And, oh yeah, and it says this page is yet to be completed because I didn't put anything on there. All right, so feel free to play around with this. Um, you really can't hurt the system. Uh, and so, oh, let me just add something just, just to show what happens. When you, let's select an approach for asset store. Uh, these are things that I've added uh, already. I just had this um, this thing, right? So just, I just all I did was I just added an image. Um, yeah, so that should be pretty straightforward. All right, and in the next video, we'll go into more details about, about different kinds of assets, and we'll also talk a little bit about templates and resources. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it very informative.